All right, listen. And my listening is so far, the bars are as thin as a supermodel. Shit. Okay. At least I'm in the right direction. This way they are the brightest. Okay. Shit. Crossbow bolts. Shit. Hmm, that was a close, close call. What's this? Red on the tree. Is that blood? It's that way. Lone cabin. I guess I must talk to the ghost. Where is she? I must find her. Who? Cool. Amonux, the daughter of the Indian king. Oh, where did you last see her? I only remember kneeling beside her, brushing the hair from her face, thinking how beautiful she was. Who are you? Barnaby Borden. Hmm. I found this necklace of feathers, yeah. I remember now, I was kneeling beside her, brushing the hair from her face, thinking how beautiful she was, even in death. Yeah, I thought it would be morbid. I stayed with her here for a long time and then I stood and stumbled away. Shit. Crossbow bolts. Nice. Hmm, anything from the crossbow to help me carry more ammo? No, I don't deserve it, right? No, no, no muting the bell right now. Sit, dude, I talked to you and you brought your whole family. Alright, there's that's where I should go. A ghost. I saw its glowing eyes from a distance, as always. All right, let's approach with caution. Hello. Was your head taken from you? It was. I shall return it to you. Again with those head quests. The head quests feel like grinding sometimes. Mm, okay. Hello? What you got? Empty. Oh shit. What was that? Oh, the thief. 
I got the thief. What you got, thief? Cro Spobold. Nothing else? Just a freaking crossbow bolt? Really? Harrier's musket, charm of grace. Exceptional longbow. Well. I see something. And it is gonna be a skull. Hello. How do I defeat you? That's how I defeat you. With three tomahawk chops. <laughs> nice. Well, finally a new enemy during the dark. But my oh my, that's a tough enemy. Now back to the ghost fellow to give him the skull. Hello. Please don't be a hoax. I couldn't kill him, I couldn't kill Barnaby Burton. Why did you want to kill him? I remember pulling his arm, telling him to come with me, saying we must hurry. Men are coming to kill James Markley, to punish him for sending those men to the haunted place. But Barnaby Burden pushed me away and ran to ring the bell. He was shouting to warn them. I started crying, I ran out of the gate and down the hill. I heard him call my name, but I kept running. Is this your father necklace? Yes, then you must be a uh, princess. Mm. What happened? He chased me, calling my name. I kept running, but there was a bad smell. Ooh, a bad place. I didn't want to go there. I knew Burnaby Burton was close, so I picked up a stick and hid myself. When he passed by, I t attacked him. He took the stick from me, so I hit him with my hands. I beat him, he pushed me away and I attacked him again, that's all I remember. Found a tree branch with dried blood clotted on the serpent end. Alright. Shit. Tomahawk. Tomahawk chops for the win, bros. Tomahawk chops for the win. A red chest. Let's hope we have some content. Exceptional Charm of Ferocity. Right. Crude Charm of Ferocity and I have the exceptional one. Hmm. Nice. So now if I press E... Oh, the attack is kind of faster. And let's check what damage it does. The bell tolls. Hello. Barnaby Burden. The princess attacked you with his branch. She flew at me from the underbrush, shrieking and howling. I tried to consolate her, but she was unconsolable. I pushed her away, but she kept lunging at me. Then suddenly her fury ceased. I remember seeing the branch was stuck into her. Ooh, she had a pale herself on it as she flung herself at me. Oh shit. She was gasping, she looked so frightened, so vulnerable, I had never seen her like that. Great sorrow washed over me, I pulled the branch free, but it had caught in her entrails. Oh. They came sneaking out of the wound. They came snacking out of the wound. It 
took a long time for her to die. I stayed with her until the end. Well, it sucks for you, but uh, damn it. Why would she die like that? I mean, it wasn't like a place trap or anything. Whoa. Hello. That way. I can see ghostly eyes again. Nice. I must approach with caution. Always approach those guys with caution because you never know when they're fake and other shadows jump out to attack you. I believe I've found your skull. It has been only decorated by I'm grateful you have it back. I have a gift for you in return. You're very generous. A hunter's longbow. Oh. Hunter's longbow. Hmm. Well... Awesome. Instead of the crossbow. Nice. Alright. I can hear nothing else in the darkness. So I'll travel to the lone cabin. And uh, let there be light. <laughs> 